Uh, hello and welcome to River Talk. I'm joined here by uh, Joaquin Toro from the World Bank, who's been engaged in a session uh, discussing um, the causes and the solutions to the catastrophic floods that uh, crossed the Balkans earlier this year. Uh, good, good afternoon, good evening even, uh, Joaquin. Um, First of all, I wanted just generally to invite you to, in your presentation, you spoke a little bit about how the frequency of disasters is increasing around the world at the moment. Would you care to explain a little bit more how, how you've come to these conclusions and what some of the reasons are? Thank you very much for having me here. Um, yes, disasters are, are in the news now and they have been increasingly in the, in the last years. Um, they have um, increased in the number of, of these events um, the number of people affected has increased, and fortunately, the number of um, deaths have, has decreased. However, the number of losses, economic losses, in the last years has uh, increased tremendously. Um, we have this uh, uh, in line of uh, going up on, on the cost of, of disasters. Uh, and this is, this, these are studies uh, done by the um, reinsurance sector. So it's, it, it's very serious uh, information. Um, so basically uh, what we are having is, is why this is happening is, is basically um, we have built uh, societies and, and cities that are growing on, on infrastructure, population are, are accumulating in these ur urban areas. Therefore, an event that you before um, had, uh, let's say, a, a, a hurricane or an earthquake in a, in a city where you had 100 families, it's very different when you have the same event or similar event in a city that has 1 million people. So the, the, the effects and the impacts are, are much more because we have this exposure accumulated in these big cities. Okay, thanks. So there's more exposure uh, to the risks, in fact, um, something you spoke about. Would, would you can now explain a little bit more to our audience um, what actually happened in, in the Balkans this spring? Um, we saw quite terrible images and catastrophic losses, but perhaps it would be good to explain a little further what happened. Well, what, what happened... Uh, Actually, this is not news for the, for the region. Uh, we had floods in 2010, we had floods in 2007, we had floods in 2002, etc. However, this, this, this event was very big. It was a, a regional uh, event. You had a, um, a front which uh, was basically stationary in, in the region. It's, a, the, 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 it's called it has been called Tamara, this, this tropical uh, um, uh, formation, that dropped an uh, incredible amount of water in, in, the, in the river basin. And that generated not only these floods, but saturation of, 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 the, of the soil and created a lot of landslides. So we had a big um, uh, negative impact in, 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 in these countries. We have the um, Bosnia Zergovina with uh, a, a big uh, affectation uh, in terms of, of uh, economic losses uh, was around 15% of the GDP. Uh, in, in the case of, of Serbia, we had uh, massive losses as well, but because it's a bigger economy, it was 5% um, of the GDP. These numbers by itself, they, they, they don't mean much, but Remember that economies of the countries in the world are growing in, in one, two, or three percent when they are very happy in, in, in their economy. So, affectations of, of these magnitudes are, 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 are very catastrophic, not only uh, from the perspective of, of the impact, but also uh, in the economy of the countries. Yeah, so it's really something that. that we need to get to grips with, in fact, especially if you look at climate change scenarios and the likelihood of these events possibly increasing in some regions of the world. But And you also referred yourself and in your presentation that this is not a, a new phenomenon, it's a recurring phenomenon. So do you think we're learning from this a bit? Are, are we learning lessons about how we can start to combat these and better confront the disasters? I, I hope so. I, I mean, fortunately and unfortunately for the disaster risk management area, we haven't had large disasters or 
massive disasters in this part of the, of the world. I mean, we cannot compare to Asia or to Latin America where there are massive events, earthquakes, uh, the, the hurricanes, uh, floods every single year. Uh, here, pretty much in, in Europe um, and in this part of the world, in the Balkans, uh, Southeast uh, Europe, uh, disasters have been neglected. Um, we know that um, there is a big exposure to floods, of course. We noticed that this yeah. year. Uh, but also landslides, uh, forest fires, and not forget about earthquakes. It's a very exposed uh, region, and we haven't talked about it. But when we look in the back, uh, in the past, let's say, let's not go too far. Only 50 years ago, we had a massive earthquake in the region, in Macedonia, where Skopje was completely destroyed. And we kind of forgotten I have forgotten that already. And if we look at the history in the past, in the 1800s or 1400s, uh, time ha has, um, in, in the past, we can see, for example, that for Zagreb was destroyed at least two times for earthquakes. Or if we go even back in the, in the, in the history, we have a massive, uh, floods in, 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 in Pest, when Budapest was not yet Budapest, it was only Pest, was totally destroyed by floods. So there is a history, and because we have not uh, had this frequent la uh, large events, we kind of deny the, 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 the risk in the region. But I hope that because of this, there's a movement of uh, being more proactive on understanding the risk and to reduce the risk in the future. Yeah. So it's, as you said in your presentation as well, it's, it's about now how, how do you increase resilience? Do you, do you have some initial thoughts on bearing in mind what's happened in the Balkans recently? What, what the key elements are to increasing resilience for the future? How we take this history of uh, disaster more into account? Well, I, I think the, the, the first step is happening and is there's a political will. Now, I mean, and we have to take advantage of, of, of this moment uh, when the authorities of the, of the countries at national level and also municipal level ha, are, are sensitive to these issues. Um, then I, I think it's important taking advantage of the moment to start developing this multi-hazard disaster risk management programs in the countries that you are systematically address the issue of reducing risk, not in not uh, increasing or not um, developing the risk. And the third part, because it's going to happen again, to, to be better prepared to respond and respond more efficiently to disasters. And that has to go from the national level to municipal to local to community level. Uh, and this is the moment of, of, of moving this forward. It is a process that it will take time, but we have to start at some point and I think this is the moment to start. Okay maybe just just finally because we are here in a, as part of a river restoration conference and we have the river prize tonight. Um, in terms of uh, prevention and preparedness what, what sort of role do you see um, restoring and maintaining healthy ecosystems and rivers as, as being part of that uh, mix of uh, solutions? I think it, it, it's fundamental um, because what we are seeing here is, is interaction of human development in the nature. And sometimes, many times, we have not respect nature. And we, we in case of, of rivers, we have taken the space of the river. We are not allowing the rivers go on the natural causes. Uh, so uh, I think one of the important things is, is that we need to, uh, by understanding the risk of floods, for example, um, we could uh, see uh, what are the, the, the what, what is the river uh, way and see where we are um, stopping the river to go and we will see that clearly has been a human intervention so if we could let the river use the the, the space that the, it was there uh, his or her before or it before uh, we could definitely uh, have a uh, a more uh, strategic and a more cost-effective way of, of, of protecting us from floods. I mean, 
river restoration has been used and is being used in other parts of the world, in, in Asia, in, in, in Latin America, to protect floods from happening. So giving the space to the river is one of, of the mitigation measures that we should uh, think as part of, of the land use planning and um, territorial planning on municipal and national levels, yes. Okay, well I think, uh, thank you very much for that, Joaquin. That was very uh, enlightening and a very interesting uh, discussion on the floods in the Balkans. Thank, thank you. you.